Tell me about this place. There's sand on the beach. Mm -hmm. And there's a field out to the left. Tell me what's around this place. What's this field look like? It's got about knee-high grass with a bunch of wildflowers and butterflies and little bugs flying. Mm -hmm. Does and this place interest you? It does. Mm -hmm. So let's walk towards that place and tell me everything that you see along the way. To my right, there's a pond. Mm -hmm. You can hear it trickling. Mm -hmm. There's a waterfall. How big is this waterfall? About five feet across mm -hmm. and about ten feet high. Very good. What do you imagine is behind that waterfall? There's a cave. Mm -hmm. So make your way towards that cave and tell me everything that you see there. It goes both left and right. Mm -hmm. Which way do you choose today? I'm going to go left. All right. So describe everything that you see in detail. What's the walls look like? What's, what's the bottom look like? I'm still in the water. Mm -hmm. And it's way steep. And the walls aren't much taller than me, but maybe two feet above me. Mm -hmm. Kind of rounded, filled with crystals. Very jaggedy good. crystals. Mm -hmm. What color are these crystals? It's dark, but they're purple. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you have a body in this place? I do. Mm -hmm. What does your body look like? Look at your hands. I have fingers. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What do you look like? I feel human. Mm -hmm. We're close to. Tell me what you mean by that. I feel like I'm more than just human. My hair's blonde. I'm not wearing a shirt. Just long blonde hair covering me. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing any clothes there? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. How long is your hair? Down past my waist. Mm -hmm. It's kind of wavy. My skin is really pale, but almost has like a blue tint to it, or sheen, like a glow. So let's find out what you're doing in that cave. Where are you going to? I live here. What is this place called? Lexia. Mm-hmm. Galaxia. 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 Do you live in this water? I think I spend a lot of time here, mm -hmm. but also on land. Okay. So let's see where you were going to today. kind of swimming, walking into the cave, mm -hmm. but I can see that there's light in there. Where is the light coming from? This, from above. Mm -hmm. It's an open area. Describe it for me. The water goes in a wave and then kind of 
seems to get shallower toward the beach. And above is a skylight. That's just a dome, like a flower of life. Mm -hmm. Does it have any color to it? It's kind of a metallic silver. Mm -hmm. so, so the metal is made is the flower of life? Yeah, mm -hmm. and through it you can just see the sky. It's blue, white clouds. So what do you imagine it is that you do in this place? I sing. Hmm. I like the way it sounds. What do you sing in this place? Just like a humming and a mm -hmm. trilling. Do you have a favorite one? I like to hear it echo back. Mm -hmm. I just make up what I feel like singing that day. Does anybody hear you while you're there? I have friends. I don't think anyone's here today. What is your name in this place? What do they call you? Rada. Rada. How old are you, Rada? Seventeen. Mm -hmm. So where is it that you live, Rada? I think I live beyond the meadow where we started. Mm -hmm. Let's go there now. I'd like for you to close that scene. And let's go to the place where you live. Be there. There's tall trees. Mm -hmm. In the house. What does your house look like? It's wood, mm -hmm. with the windows. It's covered in some sort of vines and moss. What's the shape of this house? It's kind of circular, mm -hmm. or oval maybe. Is this house on the ground? Yes. Mm -hmm. And how do you get in? There's a front door. What's it made out of? It's also wood. Mm -hmm. It's a colorful window. Colorful in which way? Almost like a stained glass. Mm. But with intricate shapes. So let's go inside. Let's see what's inside this place. There's a stairway right in the entry that goes up to the left and kind of curves in front of me and to the right there's some places to sit in a piano there's a lot of pillows mm -hmm. tell me more there's a warm light glowing from a candle. Is this daytime or nighttime? It's kind of becoming dusk. Mm -hmm. I can smell food cooking. Who's cooking the food? It's my mom. Mm -hmm. Can you see her face? She's in the other room, but I know she's home. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to focus on your body and see what you look like now. I have a dress on. Mm -hmm. Really thin material, like a light pink. Just 
just above the knee. I pull my hair back out of my face into a, kind of a ponytail. Mm -hmm. I have a book in my hand. Take a look at it and see what it is. Does it have a title? It says Truck It. Truck It? With a T on the end. Mm hmm What does that mean? It's about wisdom. Mm hmm Let's open that book and see what it says. like stories, like fables, but wisdom. Mm -hmm. What do you do with this book? I like to read. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite. What's your favorite story? It's about fairies. Mm. Tell me more. In the story, they're trying to get away from somebody. And in the end, they do. They're trying to protect their home. Mm -hmm. And I think I like it because it's like what we are doing. Mm -hmm. Trying to protect ourselves. Let's find out what it is that you're trying to protect yourself from. Do to go to that scene that will tell you what you're protecting yourself from. There's men. Mm -hmm. It's like an organization that is everywhere. What do they look like, these men? They're big. They wear dark colors and they're scary. In what way are they scary? You can just feel how mean they are. Mm -hmm. They don't think we matter. Do these men, are they similar to you or are they different? They seem human too, but maybe more human. Mm -hmm. Darker skin than more of a lighter beige. Mm -hmm. How do they dress? They're in dark uniforms, like a jumpsuit kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Do they come from your place? They're from another area. Mm -hmm. So why are they trying to take your place? What's happening? They want control. They don't like that we can just be free and do what we want mm -hmm. without answering to them and the way they do things, even though we're not hurting anybody. Let's find out more about this story. Let's find out what happens. Where are you now? They're taking us away. Describe it for me. I have a brother and a dad and a mom. They're loading us up. Where are they loading you on? It's like a van kind of vehicle. Tell me more. 
my animal. He's screaming at them. Who is? He's screaming at the men. Mm hmm. That's my pet. What does he look like? He's white. Mm hmm. Fluffy. Ears that stand up and big black eyes. Mm hmm. What's his name? Bruno. Can Bruno talk? I can communicate with him. Mm hmm. Is Bruno with you? He's separated from me. He's outside the door of the house and we're being loaded up. What does Bruno say? He's barking is the closest thing mm -hmm. of a sound. He doesn't want them to hurt us. So let's see what happens next. One of the men kills him. The man killed Brunda? Yes. What did they use to kill him? A gun. What happens next? We're driving away and I'm looking out the back and I just see him laying there. He's dying. So close that scene now, Rada, and let's go to another scene to see where they take you. We're in a white room. Describe this room for me. What's in there? A table. Chairs. We're waiting for them to come back. Look around you and see who's with you. My mom and dad, brother. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your mom's eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. See if you recognize her in the life of Amanda. My mom now. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your father's eyes. Do you recognize him in the life of Amanda? My husband. Mm -hmm. What about your brother? My brother now. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens after these men return. They have some papers. They're telling us we have to leave. We can't live in our house anymore. They're taking us somewhere where they take everybody else that they want to control. What happens? They want to eliminate people. For what purpose? Less people are easier c to control. Mm -hmm. So, Rada, let's see where you go. Where do they take you? There's a fence, very tall. There's just people hanging out behind the fence.
driving up in both sides, there's people everywhere. Dirty. Everybody's sad. How are these people dressed in this place? Mostly shirts and pants, but mm. they're very dirty. Mm -hmm. Is it one type, everyone wears the same, or they're different? Everything just looks brown. Mm. From the dirt, it's like barren. What color is this dirt in this place? The ground just looks reddish brown. Reddish brown? Tell me more. What happens in this place? It's almost just like they put everybody out here to wait to know if they get to live or die. Mm -hmm. What determines if someone lives or dies? If you have something they want, but you don't want to give it to them, you'll die. Mm -hmm. Or if you'll go along with the rules, you may get to live. Mm -hmm. If you can be strong enough to work without being combative, you can live. Most of the kids are useless at this point for them. Do you consider yourself a kid? Or an adult? I think more of an adult. Mm -hmm. So let me know where you are right now. Are you outside with your family or are you by yourself? I'm standing next to the fence looking in at everybody. Mm -hmm. My family is off to the right. Why are you separate from them? I just stepped away to look. Mm -hmm. Does this place have a name? They call it the camp. The camp. What else do you get from this place? Where is it? This isn't Earth. Mm hmm Where is it? Serious. And these people that built the camps, where are they from? Are they from there? Or from somewhere else. They've been here a really long time, mm -hmm. but I think they originate somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Connect with them and let's see where they originate from. Dark star. A dark star? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why do they come to your planet? They don't have enough control. They want more. Mm. Are there any resources on your planet that they want? Or just control? There are elements. They need mind. Mm -hmm. That's why the kids don't really have a purpose for them. Why is that? They're not strong enough. To mine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they need this job done as soon as possible. Why is that? I think they're getting ready to leave. Mm. 
So I'd like for you now to close that scene and go to a next important scene in that lifetime, something that's impacting your life. I'm alone in a concrete room. The door's opening. One of the men that came to our house is coming in. I'm not allowed to live. He's here to take me away. Tell me what happens. He's choking me. You can see this as an observer. See it from above. What happens? I can't breathe. I'm losing life. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take your last breath and just transition out of that body. Tell me what happens after you leave that body. I'm floating above mm -hmm. myself. I'm just white light. And now that you're white light, you can look back at that life. Every life has a purpose and a lesson. What did you learn from that? What was the purpose of that life? To know what freedom is. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn? I loved, I was happy. Mm -hmm. Before the men came, anything could happen in good ways. It was just easy. So let's see what happens next as you float away from that life. Where do you go to? I'm with my guides. What does it look like? Light. Connect with them and see what they tell you as you return. I can feel so much love. How many guides are with you? Four. Mm -hmm. What do they tell you? They're telling me it's okay. I survived. Mm -hmm. What else do they tell you? Too big to be where I was. You were too big to be where you were? Yes. What does that mean? The power was taken away, mm -hmm. but I have more light to give. So what are you going to do with all this light? What are you supposed to do with it? Help other people. Mm -hmm. What's their plan? They want me on Earth. What's going on on Earth? So much chaos. Greed and pain. 
fear, but a lot of love. What are you supposed to do on Earth with all this power? Give it away. Mm. But keep some for myself. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this? Just seeing what's going on on Earth, it mm -hmm. seems like a big job. Alright, describe to me what you see. A bomb. A bomb? Big atom bomb. Mm -hmm. What happens with this bomb? Many people lost their lives. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel to see this? I don't understand why, but I want to help. Mm -hmm. So do you choose your mission or does someone help you with this? I'm asked, but I can see how hard it's going to be. Mm -hmm. But I'm very willing All right. to go. So how quickly after you see this bomb do you go? In Earth years, many. Mm -hmm. What do you do in the meantime? I'm learning. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a, lo a little bit about that. Take me through what you need to learn before you go to Earth. I'm shown the ways of how dark it is away from the light. And that was the purpose also of my last life that I just left. Was to see how far away I could be from the light. But what purpose is that to, lead, to keep you so far from the light? Because the farther you go from the light, the harder it is to find it. Mm -hmm. So why do you want to be in that situation of not finding the light? Because I know of the light within myself and want to show others the light within themselves. Ah, I see. So even in dark places, you'll be able to find that light? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else are you learning? It's very inconsistent. And I'll be distracted a lot. Mm -hmm. In what way? In almost every way, there will be distractions. What else do you learn? I learn I have to leave a lot of my light here. Why is that? Why can't you take all your light with you? If I took all of it, I wouldn't be able to go. Why is that? Because the earth is too dense for all the light I have. So when you leave it in the place where you are, is it still a part of you? Is it still your light? I have access to it. Mm -hmm. How do you access this light? Get rid of the distractions. Mm. How would you do that? What would be the ideal way? Connecting with nature. Listening to the voices within myself. And once you have access to this light, what can you do with it? 
I have more to give away to those who forgot they have light or don't know how to find it but want it. Mm -hmm. When you give others the light, what do they feel? Many don't know what it is and it scares them. Mm -hmm. In what way? They're almost turned off by the light. Because it's not what they know. They're more comfortable in the dark? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's see how you select where you're going to go to next and your family. What happens? We talk. Are these your guides that are talking to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. They're telling me it's going to be very difficult. Why is that? Because I will have to forget who I am. Mm -hmm. Do you have a soul name where you come from? Maya. Maya. And do you select the name from, that you're going to have before you come to Earth? I do. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of selecting the name? To be used as a reminder of the light. Does your name contain the light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does it vibrate in a certain way for you? It's a reminder that I'm deserving of the love. Is there a way that you can remind yourself when you've forgotten about this light? Breathing. Mm. What does the breathing do? Reconnection. Calm. So Maya, let's now go to the last moment while you're there. And let's see who's with you before you become the woman that you are now. Who's with you? My four guides. They have names. Jay. Michael. Mm -hmm. Ryan. Anyone else? Aura. 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 Mm -hmm. So, what did they tell you before you, you come? They're always there, but I won't remember until it's time. Very good. So let's find out what vehicle you use to become the baby born into, onto Earth. How do you get there? Just float down. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens next. I'm waiting to be born. Where are you actually if, when when you're ready to be born? Are you outside looking in or inside looking out? Where are you? 
I'm about to go in. Mm -hmm. So outside right now. Is there anyone around you? Hospital room. Mm -hmm. Mom and the dad. So let's see the, the birth and when it is that you actually enter that body. I'm out now. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I'm crying. I'm losing the information. How does that make you feel? I'm frustrated. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to lose that information? Like someone turned the lights out on me. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything from this scene that's significant to you? I can feel my mother's love. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Very good. What about your father? Can you feel him? I can't, but it's not as strong as my mom. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene. Let's leave that scene behind. And now let's go drifting and floating to another time and another place where there's information that will help you. Be there now. Where are you? I'm up in a weeping willow tree. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I'm just looking out and thinking about my life. Mm hmm What do you look like there? I have red hair. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's significant about this event. Look around you. What happens? I can feel a storm coming. I spend a lot of time in my tree. Mm -hmm. What do you do in a tree? I think and daydream. I get sad a lot. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Something just seems off about the world. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? I feel like I've been tricked. <laughs> mm hmm. Tell me that. Tell me about this. I feel like there's something bigger. Something bigger than just what you're living now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me about this storm that's coming. It's going to clean my mood. Mm. Is that what rain does to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So 
So bring the rain. What happens now? I'm enjoying it, but it's kind of cold. Mm -hmm. Anything else significant from this scene? just realize it's much bigger. Something's much bigger. Mm -hmm. Tell me what has come into your mind. Even though I'm just a teenager, I know without really knowing that there's a lot to be done. So let's find out what that is. What is it you need to do? Helping people. Mm-hmm. Does that seem doable to you? Not at the current state I'm in, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. deep within I know it will be one day. Very good. So now let's advance that scene. Let's close it behind and let's advance it to another important day in time in that lifetime. And let's see what's happening now. I'm laying in bed. How old are you there? 34. Mm hmm What's happening? The energy's vibrating. Tell me where that energy is. Where is it vibrating? In my stomach. Mm hmm Explain that vibration for me. Does it have a movement? It just feels electric. Mm, okay. What's important about this? I'm not afraid. I know something powerful is happening to me, but I don't know what it is. So allow your, your guide to tell you. Look around in your room. And using your mind's eye, look and see if there's others there with you. My guides are there. Mm -hmm. What form do they take? They're light. Mm -hmm. What do they tell you? Kundalini energy. Mm. What does that mean? It's bringing me to a point where I'm waking up, remembering what I forgot. Mm -hmm. Did you call in this energy? Higher self. Mm -hmm. So describe this kundalini energy. What does it do to you? It's helping me see things I've never been able to see before. Mm -hmm. I'd like to call in your higher self, the voice within. Do I have permission to speak with a higher self today? Yes. Thank you very much. I know you could have shown Amanda many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her that one of Rada on Sirius? There are parallels. Mm -hmm. Very Is... similar lessons. Mm -hmm. Tell her what that means. This time she'll be able to finish what she started. Mm -hmm. What connection does she have with Brundo? They go many lives together. Mm -hmm. He connected with her during meditation. What was he trying to tell her during that meditation? Love. Mm -hmm. He's always there. Is he a guide for her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is he still with her now? 
They're always connected. They're always. What does Bruno want to tell her today? Love is not the problem. Never has been the problem. Owning the power that is within is the only way you will be able to share with other people. If you deny it for yourself, you deny it for everyone. The more you give, the more you have. So don't be afraid to give. We are all one. Anything else, Brunda? We never lose the connection. We are all one. Very good. Thank you so much. Let me, let me speak with the higher self. She asks about the Kundalini awakening in October. She wants to know if that energy is trapped. It is. Mm -hmm. What's causing it to be trapped there? The entity. Mm. Is this Carla? And two others. And two others. Would you allow me to speak with them today and find out how we can help them? Yes. Very good. So I'm going to bring my hand over to that area and bring that energy up. And let me speak first with Carla. Good afternoon, Carla. Hi. Carla, how long have you been there with Amanda? 18 years. 18 years. That's a long time, Carla. How old are you? I'm 40. Mm -hmm. What year is it for you? 1941. Mm -hmm. Carla, how did you lose your body? What happened to you? I was hit by a car. Mm. And what happened to your soul after you left that body? I was afraid. Mm -hmm. What were you afraid of? I didn't want to leave. Mm -hmm. I'd done bad things. Tell me about that, Carla. What did you do? I gave my kids away. Mm -hmm. For what reason? I don't have time for them. I just want to party. Mm -hmm. So you're feeling guilty about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what was so interesting about Amanda that made you hook on to her? She had big ideas. She had big ideas? Yep. Mm -hmm. And what made her so vulnerable that you were able to attach? She didn't know her own power. Mm -hmm. So you slipped in? Yes. So what have you been doing to her all this time? How has she been feeling you? The lower back. The lower back? Why is and that? Just so I can feel like someone remembers me. Mm-hmm. Where is it that they hurt you in the car accident? My lower back, mm -hmm. my legs. So Carla, it doesn't feel good not to be recognized. No. Are you ready to be recognized now? Yes. All right. Carla, I want you to look inside of you. Inside of you is a spark of light. This is the light from the Creator. Tell me when you see it can see it. All right. Now I'd like for you to make it bigger and bigger and bigger until it takes over your entire body. Tell me when it's done. It's so big. Mm, how does that feel? Good. Mm -hmm. Does your back hurt now? 
No. No, it doesn't. So are you ready to leave this body? Yes. All right, but before we do, we want to go ahead and heal that other body, the one that you left. So, Carla, I want you to go back in time and visit that body when it got hit by the car. And tell me what it looks like. It looks okay. Mm hmm I want you to go ahead and shine light on it and heal it. Heal it so you don't have any back pain. How does it feel to heal your body with your light? I didn't know I could. Mm hmm Go ahead and do that. Heal that body. That's good. That's good. Very good. So, Carl, I'd like for you now to begin pulling out all of your energy from her tummy. And I'm going to call the angels of the white light. They're going to come and surround you. And tell me, Carla, what they tell you. They love me. Mm, how does that feel to be loved? Very good. Mm -hmm. So do you have anything to tell Amanda before you leave? I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Amanda, what would you like to tell Carla? It's okay, I forgive you. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Carla, I want you to go through up through the top of her head right here. And Archangel Michael is there. He's going to escort you along with the angels of the white light. And take you right back to source, back home. And tell me what it is that you see when you get there. I see my mom. Mm hmm And my kids. Do they forgive you? They do. Mm hmm How does that feel? Really good. Good. Give them a big hug. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. And now I'd like to call in the other energy that's in her tummy. I'm going to bring that energy up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Hello. Are you male or female? Male. What's your name, please? James. James. How long have you been there? Three years. Three years. What was happening in her life that attracted you to her? She just didn't feel good about herself. Mm. And are you the same as her, James? The same. Mm -hmm. Do you not feel good about yourself? I think so. Mm -hmm. What happened to your body, James? I died. How old are you? 87. 87. You lived a long life. Yes. Why didn't you go home, James? I didn't think anybody would be there. Mm. What year is it? 1991. 1991? So who loved you in this life before you died? My wife. Mm. What happened to her? She died. Didn't you want to be with her? I didn't believe that there would be anything after. Ah. So after you left your body, where did you go? I just stayed around. Mm -hmm. And where was Amanda when you found her? Shopping. Shopping. And you just decided to hop on? I was with someone else. Mm -hmm. And thought I would go. So you jumped from one body to another? Yep. Mm hmm I did that a lot. You did? From from one to another? Yep. Aren't you tired of doing that? Yeah. Mm. What is it that you're causing her? What symptoms does she feel? Block. Creative Bl block. Creative block. In what way? Any type of creative block? I tell her she's not good enough. Why is that? I tell everybody that. How does that make you feel when you tell people that? 
Makes me feel better about myself. Mm -hmm. Did people tell you the same thing? Usually. Mm -hmm. What is it that you did for a living, James? Logger. A logger. So, James, I'd like for you to look inside of you and find that little white spark. Tell me when you find it. Okay. That little white spike spark is from the Creator. And I want you to go ahead and make that white light bigger and bigger until it takes over your whole body. Tell me how it feels. I feel lighter. Mm. Weightless. Mm-hmm. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Is there any reason for you to be hanging around this dense body anymore? No. No. So, very good. I'm going to have you begin pulling out all of your energy from her body and giving it to the angels that are standing right next to you. What do they tell you about this new feeling of yours? I had it the whole time. Mm-hmm. You just didn't know it, did you? I didn't know it. Well, now you do. Are you ready to go home now? Yes. All right, so go up through the crown of her head. Archangel Michael is there. He's going to accompany you. And tell me when you get to that light. I'm in it. Mm-hmm. Who's there? My wife. She's been waiting a long time. Mm-hmm. How does it feel to be with her? Good. Good. Go ahead and give her a nice embrace. And may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. So we're going to now, I'm going to move my hand over that last one, bringing it up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Hello. Are you male or female? Female. How old are you? Six. Six. What are you doing there? She put me here. Mm, what's your name? Jamie. Jamie. Why did she put you there, Jamie? Jamie. She felt alone. She did. How old was she when this happened? She was very young. Did she need someone to play with? She had people to play with. She just needed somebody to understand. Ah, did you understand her? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happened to your body, Jamie? She created me. She created you. All right. So... You're a thought form. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you do for her? I make, I give her the excuse. Ah. What excuses do you give her? If something seems too big, she uses me to say, see, I can't do it. Because you're too little. Mm -hmm. And not too powerful. Not too powerful. Very good. Do you think that's benefiting her? I don't think so. No? All right. So let me talk now to Amanda. Amanda, do you realize that you have created this entity that's keeping you very small? I didn't, but now I do. Mm -hmm. Do you need to have that, someone reminding you of, of how small you are? No. No. Well, being that you created Jamie, we can't send her away. But we can give her a different job now. What would you like to transform Jamie into to empower you? Inspiration. Mm, very good. So let me speak now with Jamie. Jamie, how would you feel like to how would you feel to be inspiration? That would be a much better job. Mm-hmm. And how old would you like to feel instead of being six? I'd like to feel 27. Mm-hmm. Why is 27? Old enough to know better, but still too young to care. Very good. So I'd like for you be to begin the transformation of growing yourself up, Jamie. And as you do, I want you to instill in her all of that inspiration of what it feels like to be in a stage in your life when you're still looking at things all the possibilities, all the hope, all the ideas, 
and creativity to come in. You're at an age where everything is still new and exciting. I want you to go ahead and begin giving her some of these ideas, this inspiration. And Amanda, tell me how that feels to have someone right there giving you these ideas. It feels good. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin integrating Jamie as this part of you that inspires you, one that gives you creativity, new ideas, connects with all that is. And tell me when she's fully integrated. Okay. Very good. So now let's scan the body. I'd like to ask the higher self to continue scanning the body and see if there are any others that are holding her back. There's something in the third eye. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what that is. Let's bring that energy down. Good afternoon. You can express yourself now. Hello. Are you male or female energy? Female. Female. Tell me why you're there in her third eye. She created me. Mm. What do you do for her? I help her with doubt. With doubt. What what do you call yourself? What name do you go by? Ella. Ella? Mm-hmm. Ella, she created you. What have you been doing to her? What have you been doing to her third eye? She doesn't believe the stuff she's seeing. Mm -hmm. She does believe it, but then tries to discount it. Mm -hmm. Is and that because of you? Yes, because if I'm there, then she'll say, see, it's not. Is that a job you like, Ella? I don't like it. Mm -hmm. What would you like to be doing instead? Facilitating that. Mm -hmm. So how can you do that? What can you do to help her with that? Integrate. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let me speak to Amanda. Take a deep breath in. Amanda, how do you feel about having Ella integrate with you? And instead of giving you doubt, giving you confirmation. I would love that. All right, so go ahead and begin the transformation. Begin to transforming her from doubt to what would you like to transform her to? Confidence? Confidence and knowing. Very good. So go ahead and begin the transformation. See her getting brighter and brighter. Very good. So, Ella, now that you have been transformed to confidence, how do you feel? Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now I'd like to ask the higher self, are there any others that are hindering her growth? One in her right hand. Mm -hmm. What's that one there doing? She put that one there as well. All right, so let's bring that energy up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Hello. What, what name do you go by? Jess. Jess. Jess, what were you created for? An excuse. An excuse. What excuse? She had an accident and cut part of her finger off. Mm-hmm. And she had to learn how to hold her pen different. She couldn't draw the way she used to. So she told herself, I guess I just can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. So she, she created you. And what do you do, do, what do you do to her? I 
I don't like it, but she likes to say she's not as good as she was. Mm -hmm. So do you do anything to her hand? I just make it so she doesn't pick up a pen. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let me now speak with Amanda. Take a deep breath in. Amanda, you see that you've caused another one in your yeah. hand? Yep. And you know that just because you have a piece of your of your finger cut off, that you can continue drawing because there are people who don't have arms that draw. They draw with their mouth. Yep. There are people who don't have hands and they draw with their feet. And they draw beautifully. So you see, that's an excuse that you used for not trying. Yep. Are we ready to remove that now, once and for all? Yes. All right. So let's begin the transformation. What would you like to transform Jess into now? To flow. All right. So let me speak with Jess. Jess, how would you like to feel as flow? That would be much better. Wonderful. All right. So let's begin the transformation. Amanda, begin to transform Jess from this excuse to a flow, allowing the energy of creativity to flow through your hands, using your hand to write, to draw, to paint, to touch, to heal whatever you need to use that hand for. Okay. Very good. How does that feel now? Much less constrictive. Very good. So let me speak with the higher self again. Are there any others in her body? It looks clear. Very good. Thank you. So I'd like to continue with her questions, please. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's the best way that she can use that energy that's vibrating in her hands? For healing. For healing. What kind of healing should she be doing? Touching. Mm -hmm. Reiki. Reiki. Or even just thinking about sending energy out sends it out. Very good. Will you be sending her a guide? Someone who will teach her? To use these hands? Yes. Very good, thank you. How can she learn to trust the information that she receives intuitively? We're working on that right now, too. Very good. So can you continue to unblock that third eye so that she can receive this information? Yes. Very good. What's her role in the shift of the newer? To hold the vibration and be a messenger. How can she do that? Her writing. So she needs to continue writing those books? Yes. Mm -hmm. She had asked about that. Is she supposed to be writing them? We've been guiding her. Mm -hmm. So those came from, from divine guidance then? Yes. Okay, good. What about photography? How can she best use that? In any way she wants to. Anyway, what is the reason why her photography just stopped all of a sudden? What went on there? She wasn't... She was too safe. She too. felt too safe in it. Mm. She needed to be bigger, bring more light. wake up, realize things weren't as they seem. Mm -hmm. So is she going to continue using photography to wake others? She can, mm -hmm. if she chooses to. Okay, good. What are her other hidden talents that she has? What's her superpowers behind, besides this light? Anything else? She's a friend. She's a good friend. So can people can rely on her for friendship? Yes. Okay, good. 
Can she heal herself today from her self-limiting beliefs? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her how? Just to trust. Okay. So she has had she had a lot of entities there and a lot of thought forms that were keeping her from being who she was, wasn't she? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was this limiting her too? That was about 80% of it. Oh, okay, good. So what's the 20% that she needs to work on? Just learning to trust okay. in herself and the information she receives from us. Okay, so just verify the information and continue building on that, on that trust? Yes. Okay, good. She asked also about her lower back pain. Was that Carla? Or her car Most, accident? Mostly Carla. Mostly Carla. So what's left there in her lower back? We're working on the rest of it. Very good. Thank you. Are you using any particular color? White light. Beautiful. Thank you. What other things would you like to tell Amanda today? I know she's very interested <coughs> in the shift of the new earth. Yes. Can you tell her about that? <clears throat> Timelines have been collapsing. Tell her more. What does that mean? The best outcome is the one we're striving for. For the greatest good. Who's collapsing, collapsing these timelines? The ether. The ether. Now people question about the new earth. Is it physical? It is. Is it something that we go to physically? After a transformation. Okay. And this transformation, are we taking bodies to it? Some are. Some are? Some are not? Some are not. Mm -hmm. And when we get to this new earth, how do we live on this new earth? In harmony. Mm -hmm. More so than here. Will it look like this at all? Quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Without all the fake plastic. Okay. Will it have cars and buildings and things like that? Will yes. Look? Okay. So are some people already on this new earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. How would you know if you're on the new earth? You would just know. You would just know. There's much different vibration than this. Mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to tell her about that? She visits. She does. In her dreams. Does she have a role to play there? Yes. What does she do there? Love and messages. Messages? And love? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are any of her loved ones there with her? Yes. Who else is there? Many people. Many. Friends and family? Yes. Very good. Is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell her today? Mostly, but she just needs to learn to trust. Mm -hmm. Will she be seeing any differences in her psychic abilities after this? Many. Many. What can she do with these psychic abilities? She can use them to realize the light within her. And to help others do the same. Okay. Very good. Will she be working from home? Will she be working at a place? Both. Both. Very good. Is there anyone else that would like to give Amanda a message today? John. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John. What would you like to tell her? I'm always here. Amanda, is there anything you'd like to tell John? I love you. Very good. 
So does the higher self have anything else to say today? Or are we complete? Complete. Very good. Thank you. Feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Wow. (laughs) How do you feel? Lighter. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Buzzing. (laughs) Buzzing? Your hands are buzzing? And my forehead. Your forehead's buzzing? Imagine all the work being done there. So let me switch these for that. This is Shanghai. I'm going to have you ground yourself now. How do they feel in your hands? Oh, good. Nice. So tell me about your experience. That was amazing. (laughs) How long do you feel this journey was? Um, hour, 45 minutes. It was an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah. So we talked all over the place. Yeah. (laughs) How did it feel? Good. Enlightening. (laughs) There was a lot of stuff there. Yeah. That past life was pretty intense, huh? Yeah. It was... And I... That's the place I always go to in my meditation because I think she felt safe safe there until until she was taken away. So now does it do you understand why Brundo came to you? It was almost like he was he was uh, warning you, wasn't he? Yeah, he was setting me up for this session Mm -hmm. (laughs) because if I would have seen him, oh, he's so cute. Uh huh. (laughs) And and uh, it was very very. Kind of emotional, you know. Yeah. To be in that situation, how does that relate to your life now? How do you feel? It's been impacting you. You know, I I do have I've had a lot of dogs throughout the years, mm-hmm. and you know, anytime you lose and cats, and it's like anytime you lose an animal, it's you know you lose a family member. Right. But to learn, you know, you always say you can feel them there, but to know that they really are still yeah. there, and yeah. you're always still connected, is mm-hmm. good. Yeah. I needed to do this, not so much for curiosity, like some people maybe, but yeah. for personal healing so I can get where I need to be. To... Now, now you understand where all this came from. Somebody, you were blocking your third eye yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're blocking your hand from using it. Yeah. That You're... happened when I was 14. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and you've been using that as an excuse. Yeah. Kind of like, feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for me. Yeah. Right? And I, I felt, you know, like... Oh, I like deep down. I know I can do these things, but it's just easier to make the excuse right. than to allow myself to prove myself. Mm-hmm. Kind of. So now, how do you feel? I feel really inspired. <laughs> Thank you, ex Carla and everybody. <laughs> Very good. So let's let me just. Mm-hmm.